Hey guys, it's Jacob. Um, today I'm going to try something different from uh, the normal video tutorials. I did a manipulation piece where I put a manipulation where uh, you take a goldfish and you put a shark fin on it and it looks adorable. So uh, it's kind of a long process and instead of just doing it step by step through the video, I'm going to walk through it using the edit, you know, undo, redo like a champ. Um, and I will try to explain things along the way that I think are complex. Otherwise, you can just see the process uh, develop. So, the first thing I do, of course, is import the goldfish. And I'm working on a way to select it. Uh, at first, I think maybe doing select by color, but then I forget GIMP is not so good at that. So, uh, I decide to go on to um, using the basic lasso tool here. And I I selected the um, shape just like this. This is the selection. I selected the shape using the lasso tool, uh, just a rough shape, and that is what I get. And it's kind of ugly because it has those dark spots um, where the dark background used to be because some parts of the image were translucent. translucent. And um, so what I do, this is important, is you select the image or the, the goldfish by right clicking on this and then going to alpha to selection and then I inverted it inverted the selection by going to select invert and I softened it by going to feather and that softens the selection so it's not so hard uh, then I um, inverted it like I said and then the next part is great you see where I kind of faded out all the dark spots and made them lighter and that's through colors and then color to alpha and that will remove say a background like you can choose your color so if I choose black then it will remove all black from the selection so anyways that's what I did right there alright so I repositioned it, rotated it, alright here's my shark image and I'll provide the links to these images they're all royalty free images anyways so um, uh, this time for the shark fin, I actually use the pin tool, and you just have to go in, zoom in real close, you know, and step by step use the pin tool to select my shark fin, and just copy that from there. It's backwards, so I do the same uh, select uh, feather process uh, to kind of remove that dark border. And then I flip it, downsize it, kind of, you know, fit it in there. Didn't really know what to do in this bottom right corner right there, so I just kind of erased that. If I was trying to spend a lot of time on it, I would have probably brought it down to continue into the um, rest of the fish. Anyways, so then the next thing I do is I pull out my pen tool again, and I select this kind of strip that's going to be the belt that's going to be holding on uh, the fin onto the cute little goldfish so I just choose gray is the color that I was going gonna go with and I lowered the opacity right here so that I could see where the fin ended right here so that I would know where to erase and then the next part is to start using your burn and dodge tool which is located right here and these are super useful whenever you're doing photo manipulations so uh, using a soft brush, I start to burn different areas on the back side and the bottom to make it look more realistic. And then I dodge, which is lighting uh, some of the other spots. Uh, then I use kind of only went halfway here and just use some gray dark spots for the kind of buttons that are holding down the fin onto the belt. And then I uh, created a new layer. Uh, behind this and added some soft uh, uh, black strokes to add kind of a shadow and then I lower the opacity and right there you can see I burned the back side of the fish make it a little bit darker fit better okay so next thing I do I add that shadow on the belt um, then I start dodging and burning the shark fin to make it fit with my image a little bit better. Okay, the next thing I do is uh, adjust the color. Now it's not just plain gray, black, and white. It's 
uh, I went to color and then colorize and kind of adjust the uh, hue there so that kind of a red low saturation so it fits the goldfish a little bit better I did the same thing with the shark fin okay now the next thing you do is I created a, I put them all on, on one layer all my layers on one layer and I selected two colors in this case a dark green and a yellow and you go to colors map gradient map and that basically uh, makes all the colors fall between those two colors um, so that kinda puts them all on the same level so they all look like they're part of the same image uh, the next thing I did was changed it to hard light because I kinda like that you can adjust it to there's all sorts of possibilities but I did hard light and lower the opacity so it's not as strong and then I created a new layer and desaturated the fish now uh, to make it fit in a little bit better with the shark, shark fin so <clears throat> the trick with that is you want to go to colors and sorry where was it um, hue and saturation and from there you adjust specific colors so I selected the reds and the yellows and I uh, desaturated them a bit so that is the image I end up with one thing I realized I forgot was um, that I did not do anything to make it look like he was in the bowl by like adding this bar. So I guess I can do that now. Let me just wing it here. Okay. So I'm gonna zoom in nice. I'm gonna use the the um, sorry marquee rectangle select tool. And since that works nicely, oh I have it set to aspect ratio so let's undo that just right there maybe uh, bring it down one okay and I'm going to for my color I'm gonna pick that right there okay and then I'm going to fill that and go ahead and do this on new layer. I'm going to fill this selection with the foreground color. And it looks kind of boxy right now, so I'm just going to do an easy way and just erase um, kind of this top portion right here. So it doesn't look as manufactured and fake. and it kind of sticks out. I'm gonna burn it some, make it a little bit darker. There we go. Okay, um, I probably should do a little bit more detail on that to make it look like it's in the bowl, but that's okay. Um, to do that I might just uh, create kind of a lighten uh, effect on part of, like, top half of this. Anyways, okay, so in conclusion, that's basically how you do that photo manipulation. I'm going to do it one time all the way speed through so that you can see the progress. Ta-da! Alright, thanks for watching.